What's up, YouTube? It's the real Super Mario, and I'm finally bringing you an anime video. But right now, we have top tens, two of them to be exact. I'm doing um, since I had so many anime characters that I like, I couldn't really pick ten. It was so freaking hard to pick just ten anime characters. So I was like, well, this is what I'll do. I'll pick ten good guys, and I'll pick ten bad guys. That way, I, I'm I'm pretty good. I'm pretty straight here. So. You know, let's get right into this. Enough of the introduction. Enough of the, you know, of the of the prelude. Let's get to meat and potatoes. My top ten favorite anime characters, the good guys. Number ten. <laughs> Hideki Motosua from Chobits. Alright, so the reason why Hideki's on this list is because he's like a lot of, he's like a lot of the guys on this list. He's more of a normal, you know, laid back kind of every man. He doesn't have any special powers, even though he doesn't need any because his show isn't really about that. But he doesn't have he's not special in a normal sense either. If he's not a genius, you know, he's not a martial arts master. He's simply a dude that's trying to make, just trying to, you know, make his way in life in Japan. You know, he starts, you know, he starts off on, you know, his parents' farm. He's trying to go to college, but he's not exactly a genius. He ends up moving to the big city. He has to get a job because, you know, his parents aren't rich. So he has to get a job in order to make ends meet. And he just happens to find this super powerful robot, you know, and it changes his entire life. Hideki Monosuma at number 10. It's all over for me now. Huh? Hi. Why don't you dream about something else for a while? Number 9. Bato. Alright, Bato. Bato is from Ghost in the Shell. Um, Ghost in the Shell is an awesome show. You know, it, it's kind of like a procedural cop drama set in the future in Japan after World War Three. And the one thing about Ghost in the Shell is it does take itself very seriously. But there are a few lighthearted moments. And those lighthearted moments come from this guy. Bato is freaking hilarious, alright? You know, the, 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 some of the things he does and says are just funny, and they bring kind of a light, funny, you know, type of atmosphere to the show that it does kind of need from keeping itself, from keeping it from taking itself way too serious. Hi there. Eh? <laughs> Let's give him a checkup, Lily. They are. Yeah, what the? Number eight, Joey Wheeler from Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, Joey. Joey is on this list for similar reasons to Hideki, whereas he, he is just your your everyman. You know, he doesn't have any special powers. He doesn't have any ancient, you know, ancient Egyptian pharaohs. He doesn't have any multi-million dollar companies. He doesn't have a powerful family. He doesn't have any of that stuff on his side. He's just a normal dude dealing with all the situations that all these other people deal deal with without you know the sake of powers or money you know he he's kind of like batman you know batman doesn't well he has money and stuff but you know he doesn't have any superpowers yet he battles all these people who kind of do and they're psychos and that's one of the reasons why i like joey because he's a normal guy and he's dealing with all these issues he doesn't get a, a mystical spirit that kind of like takes over his body and does all the work for him. No, he has to do he has to do this stuff himself. 
and he seems to succeed most of the time. You know, even though he's kind of an idiot. <laughs> oh no, it's raining! <laughs> hey, I know! I'll use my trusty frying pan as a drying pan! Number 7. Brock from Pokemon. Alright, so Brock is on here less for like, you know, being like a normal everyman, more for nostalgia. Brock was freaking hilarious back in the day. Like, you saw the pan thing. Come on, really? Who, who, who else could have pulled that off? Um, Brock is, 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 I mean, Brock is cool. You know, he's cool, laid back. He's the older influence on Ash and all the various chicks Ash can travel with. And, you know, he's just cool. You know, and he does, he, he does all this stuff and he never even opens his eyes. <laughs> You've never seen, you never once seen him open his eyes. Like, man, Brock could be just freaking daydreaming the entire Pokemon journey. You wouldn't even know. Or either he could be just super high and doesn't want to show people. At last, I've got women and plenty of them. But still. I hoped for women who still had their own teeth, you know. Uh, I just need to be patient, that's all. <laughs> hmm? Must be hearing things. I thought the women were here. Oh. <laughs> Number six, Jiraiya from Naruto. Alright, so here we go again. Yeah, you you see you see kind of a cut you see you know kind of a connection with this list. Uh, this list consists of three perverts. <laughs> um, Jiraiya's on this list because Jiraiya uh, again he's another one of those characters that brought a uh, uh, light, happy, funny tone to whatever situation he happened to be in. Also, he's also a complete badass as well. Um, but he's hilarious at it though. You know, like, like the pervy moments and the funny moments of Jiraiya I will make him one of my favorite Naruto characters. You know, Jiraiya is awesome. Look at the mess you've made! You've practically destroyed our town! You're covering the damages. And your restaurant bill, too. Hey, wait, just, just hold on a second! This guy and his little entourage should be paying for everything! Good luck, everyone. I will be up here if you need an Asian guy. I'm Asian! Yeah, you get the hell back here! Number five, Ling Yao from Full Metal Alchemist. All right, Ling Yao. What, what can I say about Ling Yao? I mean, he's cool. You no, know, he's another one of those people who he he just he does things effortlessly. He doesn't even have to open his eyes to fight people unless he specifically has to. Ling Yao is he's just a cool character. I mean, he's kind of like a combination of like Goku and. Mm, well, Goku. <laughs> I mean, because he has that whole. I mean, it is kind of like the the uh, the writers for Full Metal Alchemist were trying to parody Goku a little bit with with uh, Ling Yao, you know, by having him. Oh, he eats and he's Asian. He's he's, he's awesome though, you know. And I mean, he actually took on homun homunculi by himself while carrying, you know, a, a body along with him, you know. So I have proven my innocence, have I? Now you listen to me! The one they call Batosai the Manslayer has been murdering people on the streets of this town every night! If you walk around carrying a sword at this time of day, anyone would suspect you. And anyway, you know this is the Meiji era and it's forbidden by law to walk around carrying uh -huh. a sword in the first place. There's something going on. It might be him! And number four is another character from my childhood, my early anime watching days, Kenshin Himura from Ru from Ruoni Kenshin. All right, Kenshin's on this list because the Kenshin it, Kenshin was hard to place because he's one of my favorite animes from one of um, one of my favorite anime characters from one of my favorite anime, and so it was really hard to place him you know, in a specific place on this list because these last four are some of my favorite characters of all time, not just from anime, but from anything. And, um, 
you know, so I just kind of like did a crapshoot and kind of placed Kenshin at four. Um, but yeah, Kenshin is an awesome character. He's laid back. He's cool, even though he has dark, bloody paths, you know, and it takes a whole lot of strength of character to be able to, you know, beat someone without killing them when you sh when you definitely know what you could, you know. I mean, Kenshin is awesome. <laughs> Alright, we get down to the top three right here. Top three favorite anime characters. Number three, Kakashi Hataki from Naruto. Alright, Naruto is one of my favorite anime shows. Uh, lately, the, the manga has been kind of ridiculous. I still like Naruto, you know, and Kakashi is one of my characters, I mean, he's another one of these cool laid back characters, he is kind of like Brock, whereas he just kind of chills, and he's kind of laid back, you know, I mean, he literally looks like he's about to fall asleep the entire time just in the show, unless there's something crucial going on, you know, I mean, he fights people without even paying attention, like, he's reading a book, and the person's like fighting for their life, he's like, yeah, Whatever, I'm just gonna just sit here and read this book. You know, you're no challenge. <laughs> you know, not to mention that you know, he has one of the coolest powers in the show. You know, um, K K uh, Kakashi is an incredible character, and he's one of my favorite characters in Naruto, hands down. And if if Kishimoto ever kills him again, I will never, ever, ever touch the series again. <laughs> Number two, Mighty Guy. Yep, another Naruto character because I really do like Naruto. I mean, it's one of my favorite series, and Guy is my favorite all time character from Naruto. Out of all the characters, Guy. Why? Because Guy embodies pretty much. He pretty much embodies this list for the most part. I mean, he's a normal guy. He has no special powers. He's hilarious, and he's cool. You know, I mean, and, and he, he kicks ass with no powers. He has no ninjutsu, no genjutsu. You know, he he basically does it with his own power. You know, guy is awesome. You know, I mean, and one of the one parts that that I actually like in the anime is what. You know, as what happens with Guy and how he develops, as you know, as his character develops later in the manga. You know, Guy is awesome. All right, he is truly a mighty cool guy, and that was bad. <laughs> I'd rather be sick than get a needle. <laughs> Would you shut up already? I'm not even giving you a needle. Number one, my top favorite anime character. And I, you should, I mean, by looking at this list, you should probably know who this person is. It's Goku from Dragon Ball Z. Well, from the Dragon Ball series, anyway. You know, uh, Goku, Goku, like, like guy embodies this list. Which is why it was so hard to place the two, you know. I mean, I guess Goku really had to get, you know, top billing because, you know, he's Goku. You know, and not to mention there's also nostalgia there as much as the fact that he embodies everything this list is about. You know, he's cool, you know, and he does have powers, you know, but he's not, he's not a genius. You know, so he's not like a, a fighting genius, you know, it, he, he, but he, he's saves the world countless times and he doesn't really care 
You know, he cares about the world, but it's not like, oh, you know, I'm the best in the universe. Like, no, he doesn't care. He's the best in the universe. Like, he he, he got married because he thought it was food. Like, I mean, Goku's hilarious, man. You know, it, I mean, Goku is one of the... He's the father of shonen anime, essentially. Like, most shonen anime characters are based off of Goku in some way. You know, and... He, you know, he's one of the he's one of the most popular anime characters in the world. And he is my favorite anime character. So, that's my list. So, what's your list? What is your who are your top favorite anime characters? You know, just go ahead and put them down in the comments. Like this video, subscribe, and look out for the next one. Keep it real with the real Super Mario. Real Super Mario. Real Super Mario. <laughs>